everybody i'm back with another video and a new fursuit but sadly no unboxing um and the reason for that is not because i didn't record one if you want to go watch it you can go to my instagram which is also slushy garbage i have the unboxing uploaded there um the reason i don't have it uploaded here like i did with chromas which i cross posted um i only did one recording of the unboxing unlike chromas where i did the live on my phone and then the recording on my ipad because i wanted to be able to read um people's like comments on the live so i wanted to record on my ipad and then i completely forgot to save the video after i did the live so i don't actually have the original recording um i tried to screen record it on my ipad but Overall, the quality just wasn't great because Instagram Live just kind of uh, does not do good. Do it does not do good quality for videos. So I decided since I'm not gonna be posting a um, live an unboxing on here, and I know not everyone uses Instagram, I thought I would just talk about my new suit um, and kind of like how I ended up getting it. Um, I was not actually planning on my next video like talking about a new suit being on like a completely new suit i thought it was going to be my other suit refurbished head i was going to do an unboxing for that one but uh that one's actually still being worked on and i decided last or two two thursdays ago not this thursday but last thursday i bought a suit and it came in on tuesday and um, it was kind of an impulse buy. I say that, but ever since it was uploaded in May, I had been going back like multiple times a week and checking the post and seeing if anyone had bought them because I really loved the suit. I loved the character design. All, everything about the suit, I just adored. But I kept on telling myself I didn't, want, I didn't need to buy another suit because I already have two. But uh, after I went ahead and was looking at dealer's den and looked at the partials which i don't usually do i usually am i look at the full suits just to see if there's any cute uh full suits on there and then i get off but i was actually checking the partials and i saw that it was cross posted on there as well and um i thought that at that point if i didn't buy this suit as much as i had got attached to this suit at that point that i would actually be genuinely upset if someone else got this this suit so um a little bit about the suit before i show you guys um she her name is Snowcone, and she's a drecubis which is an open species i'm gonna try to link the website of the species in the description so you guys can check them out because they're open and they're really cute i didn't actually know anything about them before i bought the suit um, I really didn't care that she was a species, original species or not. I just liked the character design. Um, and they actually give you an option to like, just make the character like a furry OC if you don't want to like do the lore of the species, which is probably what I'll end up doing anyways, because I don't really do good like development for my characters. I'm really bad about that. So, um, but yeah, I, I just want to leave that for y'all if y'all want to go check them out. Uh, I'm just letting y'all know because she has features of the species on her, obviously, and, like, I didn't want y'all to go, why does she have, you know, this on her tail, or why her ears look like that? It's, that's why. Um, and I, I guess it's gonna be, like, a mini, like, it's not really a review, um, but I guess it kind of is, in a way, because I'm gonna be showing you, like, all the features of the suit, and I'm gonna try to do a suit up at the very end so you guys can see her all put together. Um, she takes a little bit of time to get on. Uh, I might not put on her arm sleeves because they take forever to get on and they're a little big on me, but I will be showing them to you guys. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. But, um, without further ado, I guess I will show you guys my new baby, my new lovely, my new lovely suit. I'll show you her head first because, um, it's not really an unboxing, so I guess I can show you guys that. So, this is Snow Cone. She has gigantic ears. Honestly, I think that, yeah, they're like almost my whole body. 
she is a very very big suit like if you compared her to my other suit chroma you can see the the big difference in the size of the two of them um, and she's also quite a bit heavier actually I would say she's probably like if I had my other Sona Skelly's partial and Chroma's partial to put together I think that her head would actually weigh more than both of them and it's not because like I don't it's not heavy enough to like I can feel it because like first suits aren't really that heavy anyway so it's not like those two partials combined are gonna be that much all together but she has um, like extra padding on the back of her neck and also her ears and just the size of her head just because you have to make accommodations for big ears like this you know yeah you, you have to make a pretty big head head for that so um, but it's nothing like my neck doesn't hurt after wearing her or anything like that um, but she certainly has a lot more weight to her um, than any of my other suits do uh, which isn't a big deal I do plan on getting her a full suit though. I know I mentioned in Chroma's unboxing that I was gonna try to get a full suit of her, but after like thinking about it, it's definitely gonna be on the back burner compared to hers. Um, and the reason for that is because she doesn't really suit the partial like thing, you know? She doesn't really seem like a character that would wear clothes. She just seems like she would be her, you know, anthro character degenerate anthro character without any clothes just like an animal kind of thing um but obviously i'm gonna partial with clothes with her i just can't really s see her being a character like that compared to like chroma or skelly and also chroma's bodysuit is gonna be one solid color which is ivory um like the same color as like her mane fur on her neck and everything like that um and she doesn't have any any features on her body at all it's just ivory so until i can I feel like I'm able to maintain a pretty much white suit like that. I don't think I'm gonna get Chroma a bodysuit or Skelly because her Skelly's pretty much almost white. Um, she has like I'm gonna like on her full design. I put like blue on her back mostly and like on her legs. Um, and I'll show you her feet and everything because those are gonna those are mostly white as well. But this is her head. She has follow me eyes. 3D Follow Me Eyes. They're actually really good. Like, look at that. Look at that effect. She has two tongues. This is her longer one. I really like how cute it looks, like, from the side. She has a little little tongue sticking out. She has teeth. Um, the inside of her head is lined fully. Well, except for the neck. The neck isn't lined, obviously. Most, most makers don't line the neck. But I want to see if I can get close enough. So this is the padding I was talking about right here. I'm pretty sure it's just so it when she's on, like when you're wearing her, she's just more comfy on the neck. I'm not 100% sure though. If you're wondering what this little pouch is right here, um, she come she came with a muzzle fan. I don't have batteries in it right now because um, I forgot that I needed to buy some for it. Um, but I was just that's where you put it like you put the little battery pack in there and then you put the muzzle fan in her muzzle and uh I wish I could show you guys that but like I said I don't have batteries um her vision is actually really good um uh I can and I can also get glasses inside of her which is something that I can't really do with either of my other suits um because uh, Chroma actually has room inside of her head, but sh I cannot get them past her neck because it's like the design, the way her neck is made, it's like a slim fit so that it looks like more like a neck rather than like it fraying, like spreading out like most fursuit heads are. Um, so I can't really get them inside of her, but anyways, these are her paws. They are lined as well. I'll show you guys that. Well, actually, yeah, they're fully lined in the inside. They have like a cute little paw thing. Um, I was actually, I've heard a lot of people 
say that they don't like lined paws because they're hard to get on. And it certainly is harder whenever you're wearing like the arm sleeves and you're trying to like tuck this part under the arm sleeve. I'm probably not gonna, like I said, I'm probably not gonna wear the arm sleeves that often um, unless like I have like a really cute outfit that doesn't have like long sleeves because most, I usually wear long sleeves when I'm partialing anyways. Um, but I actually really like the lined inside because I have small hands and I have found that any fursuit paws that I get fall off my hand very easily. Um, so even though the lining is kind of like it does get stuffy like really fast like if you're suiting outside or just using them a lot it does get kind of sweaty in them pretty fast but um, they stay on my hands and they have very good dexterity, which I was very impressed by. Um, I think this is the Kloof suit design. I know a lot of people use that pattern for their fursuit paws, but these actually are really, they're just super well made. Very good dexterity. I think even more than Chroma's. Um, and Chroma's fit me really well. The wrist is kind of big, but like I said, they stay on my hands really well. So I don't really have to worry about them coming off. Um, and they are very big, if you can tell. I was actually surprised whenever I got them because they're even bigger than Chroma's and Chroma's are, paws are pretty big. Um, so let me get the rest of her partial real quick. I forgot to get it out before I recorded, so I apologize. her paws and here's her arm sleeves oh and her tail I'll get her tail as well the big guns so I guess I'll talk about all these individually and then um, I will put, put them on. So one of my favorite parts about her suit is her feet paws. So I actually didn't realize until like the day before she was coming in the mail that they were indoor feet. So I'm definitely gonna have to get her some sandals. Um, but they're very cute. They're gigantic as you can tell, but they are zipper style and they come they you they're built so you can put your own shoes in here and they're also lined and i actually really like this uh, i was really i was kind of worried because they were built like they have the ability to like fit a women's eight to like i think like a men's 11 or something like that and I was worried that they were going to be too big and I would be having a hard time walking in them. But I have some high tops, Converse, that I wear. I wore them the other day. And um, they actually were very easy to walk in. And they are surprisingly easier to walk in than Skelly's um, fursuit paws. And I think it's because they are sock, like the sock paw style. So they don't have a whole bunch of foam in them and they're really squishy. And the uh, like wearing my shoes in here rather than just wearing like socks inside skellies um i can actually walk in them really well um but they are super cute like i said really big i like that they're lined as well um like i they just add some extra flair to them they're very comfy and so here are her arm sleeves i have them on a hook right now because i was hanging them in my closet because I didn't want them to get creased. As you can tell, they're pretty big. I think the original client um, was taller than me and maybe had a little bit bigger arms than me. And that was one thing about the suit. Um, it was actually not a pre-made and it also wasn't, um, it was like a, it was a commission and the original client no longer liked the character and so they, because the maker hadn't shipped it off yet, they were just trying to resell it. 
so they could refund the client and that's why I ended up seeing them so it's not a since it's not a commission like some of the stuff doesn't fit me exactly but actually for the most part like it it's a very like it's it's sizing is pretty easy to accommodate for a whole bunch of different people which is really nice like I said the arm sleeves are a little big on me I think maybe if I just like take off some of this take off some strap on the back I might be able to wear them a lot easier without them sliding off my shoulders um here is the smaller tongue that I mentioned it's really cute um I just like like I said I like the other one because it comes out of her mouth these are her eyelids she has two she just I mean she has the um velcro I can't really get them to stick I tried to during her unboxing um I think it's just because Velcro, I've always had a hard time making Velcro stick. Um, it's just kind of how it is. I mean, I like her expression like this. I don't even think I need to change it. It is nice to have them. If I can get them to stick eventually, then I'll probably wear them, but they just wouldn't stay on when I was trying to put them on in the unboxing. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, I just found that magnetic is always the best way to go because they, they usually, you don't have an issue with them. And then last but not least, there is her tail, which is very cute. This is what I was talking about with her tail. You have these five little bones that come out. Um, this is really cute. It's minky and like stuffed and it's really cute. I know some people did like, I've seen some other Drekubus suits. They have like 3D printed. I think that's what Sky High Studios did with their Drekubus suit. Um, it's super cute. It has a zipper right here. And it's really well hidden, actually. Um, it's for, like, taking out stuffing whenever you need to wash it. Um, it's really long, but it's not floor drag style. It has enough stuffing that it doesn't drag on the floor, which is actually really nice because it has white on the bottom. And everyone knows if you have a white floor dragging tail, you're probably going to end up having to bleach it just to get the stains out, even if you wash it after right. every use because um, it's so big uh, and drags on the floor and everything I mean white just doesn't want to stay white <laughs> and uh, yeah so that's really all I have for just talking about the suit I'm gonna do an unboxing I mean not an unboxing I'm gonna do a suit up um, without the arm sleeves like I said they're just hard to get on um, so I'm not even gonna worry about it right now but I'm going to stop the video. Hello, I'm back. I don't know if y'all can hear me that good. I hope you can. It's a little hard to know how to, how loud to talk in this. Hello, I'm here. I got snow cone. Look how cute she is. Look how big her ears are too, like they're to like, like mid thigh, they're like mid thigh, they're really big and I love them so much, they're super cute. Here, her paws, I'm gonna pause on, they're so cute. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, let me get a little bit further away. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, please feel free to follow me. Oh, and my maker, I completely forgot to mention, is 8am.costumes on Instagram. I'm going to make sure to link uh, their profile in my description. Uh, so you guys can go check them out. They're extremely talented. 
Um, I don't really have any more for you. I hope to be back when I get Skelly's refurbished head. I'm extremely excited for her to be finished because I can't wait to show you guys because she's like my my baby. She's my Sona. I love her more than anything. And um, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's also slushy garbage, like I said. Um, I have I'm trying to get better about uploading content with my first suits. Um, so if you wanna see more snow cone or chroma content and hopefully soon skelly content, feel free to go follow me. I hope you all have a good day. Bye bye.